Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you, and I am so tired. These puppies, oh my gosh, they are, I, I knew this, it, it was going to be this way, I just knew. Um, they've been getting up in the middle of the night two and three times, and if I don't get them up, if I don't get up and take them outside, they will poop in their little kennel that I made for them, so... Live and learn. You know, I tried to let them go for a little while, but nope, went over there and they had pooped all over everything. So, um, <laughs> gosh. And then Papa, he just, uh, oh gosh, he doesn't want to play with them. He doesn't want to get anywhere near them. He's not mean to them. He just doesn't know what to do with them. So anyhow, yep, I built a uh, fire in the wood burning stove, made some potato soup. In fact, I'm cooking the leftovers right now. Uh, made coffee on the wood burning stove this morning and it's just working really great but I'm definitely going to need more wood so um, I didn't really gather that much yesterday so today I'm going to do that I'm going to scope out a couple trees that I might be able to cut down and um, who knows what else I'm just so exhausted those puppies I'm not getting more than a couple hours of sleep at a stretch but it's worth it because they are just so adorable. So cute. Anyhow, let me finish my coffee and get this day going and wipe the sleep out of my face, eyes, whatever you call it, and brush my hair, get dressed, and try and get going. Here's my goal for today. I uh, cut this up out in the woods. This and this and this all from the same tree. It was a cedar tree that had already fallen. And yeah, I'm going to keep all these little limbs and stuff and use them for kindling because they'll smell wonderful. But um, it had already fallen, so I just cut it up. That was the bottom part, next part, and that was the top. I left the base kind of like in the ground. It had some moss growing on it and some mushrooms. So I left it there. And then these, except for the two right there, these came from another tree. I cut them all up and brought them up. And one of my subscribers had asked if I considered putting wood in a tent. And I thought, no, no, I've not thought of it. But I am not using this for a shower area or an outhouse. So I just got a broken like window pane thing and put a few more slats of wood down in it. And I'm going to put all of my cedar in here. And I don't know, I may put some other stuff in there. I don't know if I'll ever get enough cedar to fill it up. But hopefully this will be another spot that will work that will keep the wood dry for me. This is a lot of fun, you guys. I love it. That's the first log down. Yeah, I cut that one a little small. I think I'm going to split that one into just little pieces, put it in this bucket so I can have some nice cedar kindling. So I've only got these two left. And yeah, hopefully it won't take me all day. All done. That's the new cedar pile. That's the old cedar. I've just bought it all over here. Um, and that's just the kindling. So, you know what? Not too much, but I don't have to keep just cedar in here. I might go ahead and start stacking something else up over there and just take that out and put it in the shed. But I got a nice little stack of cedar. I'm just taking a little break from sawn wood. And I got to just tell you, it has turned out to be a beautiful, gorgeous day today. The sun came out and it's not freezing cold anymore. The puppies are out in the sun playing, chewing on everything that they can find. <laughs> Whew, they're wearing me out. I am dead tired, but I still have half of that bunch of wood to saw off. So I'm going to go do that now. And then I think that's going to be it for today. What are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, cute roly-poly puppies. They are so delightful. Yep, they are. <laughs> oh. Still just two eggs today. I don't think Roxy's going to lay any more this year. She's molting really super bad right now. But the one on the right is Miss Pris, and her eggs are finally getting bigger. Might as well let these little babies out. Yep, because the hens have laid their eggs. So come on out, babies. Be free. Be free. There they go. Aren't they getting big, you guys? I know I keep saying that, but it always amazes me. Yep, get yourself some, some grub. I do put out some grit for them here and there, just in case they need it. Look at, look at, look at how pretty 
Patsy's getting. She's got some black on her. Oh, she's going to be such a gorgeous chicken. Now, sorry guys, you don't get to come in because you terrorize the little ones. You can observe them from afar. <laughs> Look at these chia plants. How you boys doing? Look at how big they've gotten. Big Daddy and Campy. Oh, yes. That's a gorgeous rooster right there. And I gotta tell you, see Romeo over there? I think that this rooster is actually bigger than Romeo. That's one big rooster. I think he's bigger than Romeo. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think? Well, I guess it's time for me to finish chopping up that wood. I got all the wood cut up that I had taken out of the woods. I did go ahead and just put that other couple of trees right there. And because I don't have any cedar to add to that right now, I may end up putting that one over there. But, you know what? I decided I still got a little bit of energy. So I pulled two more out of the forest. <laughs> the forest. My woods. That one's kind of rotten. Well, they both kind of are. But they're dry. They'll burn. Uh, so I'm just going to cut these up. If I can boot stomp it apart like these, that means, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to burn very long. That's going to go in the shed and become kindling. So now I just got to cut all this up. I think I'm done for the day. I'm thirsty. My mouth is dry. <sighs> yeah, that's all stacked up. That's in there. All the other stuff that I could boot stomp, like I said, put in the shed. I've depleted this just a little bit, but... It's all filled back up, <laughs> overfilling, overflowing. So I need to get some small, small kindling, just like some little twigs and sticks and stuff. But you know what? This is what I'm probably going to be doing every day during the winter. There is one more thing I can do before I sit down and call it a day is collect some more pine cones. I'm sure there's more that have dropped in my area because i got plenty of pine trees here and there. There's one. Right on. I think that's enough. Yeah, I got about a dozen more. Ugh, I'm tired, you guys. Time for a break. Puppies, how did you get out? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Well, at least they came running right to me. I have no idea. I'm going to figure, figure out the weakness in the yard. Oh my gosh, puppies. Well, I figured out how they got out because Sonny got out again. Those two things were stacked up against there, but there was, I think they got through that space and they couldn't come back in. So I'm going to have to figure out how to block this off so that they can absolutely not get out. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I just shoved whatever I had in there and I kept finding little holes and spaces, so I had to put more rocks up there. So hopefully this will keep them. I had to cut back some lilies, but, well, these are ready to be cut back pretty soon anyhow. I felt so bad because when Sonny was caught back in there, he was trying to get back in, and I moved one of those little pieces of, uh, you know, concrete thingies, and he got his head stuck, and he couldn't move it, and he was yelping, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I had to totally move the stairs out of the way, and, you know, tear some lilies up, and... But I got him out, and he seems just fine right now. He's running around and being his normal self. So, phew, puppies. It's been a long time since I've had puppies. Let me tell you, they, they're a handful. This little Sonny is so curious about those roosters. See? Papa just doesn't want to play with them. He, he'll just move away from them. And they just want to play with him so bad. You're a good boy, Papa. I just love you so much. I am done gathering wood and doing stuff like that. I think I'm going to get some leftover potato soup. Finish that up. And um, just call it a day. I'm exhausted. Oh my gosh. Please, please pray for me that those puppies sleep all night tonight. I really, really need a good night's sleep. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.